Hi everybody, welcome to my big tidy up. My name is Dee Dee and if this is your first time finding me, well hi, I'm glad you found me. Thanks for joining us today. Today what I'm going to be tackling are some problem areas in my home. Now if you've been with me a while, tidy uppers, you're probably thinking, you still have problem areas in your home? Yes, unfortunately I do. One major problem area is in my kitchen. I know, I know, we thought we were done with the kitchen. Nope, there's one major cabinet. You know those kind of cabinets that you can't reach all the way to the back? They're usually by your stove or they're kind of a corner like an L. Mine's by my dishwasher and things go back there that you can't see. It's like it goes to the black abyss. Well, I have one of those and I need to clean that out and organize it and find a better system today. And I'm gonna declutter and get rid of a lot of those items and they're not going back in there. And another problem area I have is my coat closet. Now, normally it's not a problem area, but what's been happening is it's become a storage unit for different people in my family. Like maybe they don't want this anymore, so they're gonna give it to this sibling. So I have become the storage unit until that sibling comes through or they pick it up. So today I'm clearing all of that out because they're coming. So I'll be giving all those things and getting rid of that closet mess. And I've got some other things I need to tackle today as well. So without any further ado, thank you guys for joining me today. Let's get started and let's get tidy. Well, here is the cabinet I was telling you about, and it runs all the way alongside of the dishwasher. Now, I'm not gonna complain about having a large storage space because we all love having storage, I know that, but I must tell you, it's not a real convenient or practical storage space because I'm not a short person. I'm almost 5'8", and I have a hard time reaching all the way to the back to get things. And I didn't change the lighting, and you can see it gets really dark back there. You can't tell what you have. Now, when I set this up, I did organize it. I know that's hard to believe. It's a stretch looking at it now, but I kind of had holiday dishes and things on the bottom, pitchers and storage containers in the middle, and then glassware on the top but it's all kind of got mixed together. So I'm gonna declutter it, organize it, put it all back in, and hopefully I'll have some empty space left in there when I'm done. Well, everything is out of the cabinet and as usual every time i do an organizing decluttering this type of project i'm always so shocked at everything that comes out of one closet or one cabinet and you know the thing is i don't even know why i'm shocked and surprised by this stuff it's my stuff i've seen it before i either bought it myself or received it as a gift so why am i so surprised oh i have this i have that you know, it just goes to show out of sight, out of mind really is a real thing. And so I think it's a good idea for me to go ahead and get rid of a lot of this stuff. I haven't even seen it or used it for the longest time. I may at some point pick up a couple of those expandable shelves that Walmart sells that I've used before in cabinets where you can make a shelf where there isn't one for the back corner here, but I'm hoping that I can get this thing organized and decluttered enough that I'm going to have extra space and not need those shelves. Never leave a man behind. Sorry, Santa.
you know, I'm not having any trouble deciding what I want to keep, what I want to donate, or what needs to go in the trash can until I get to a holiday item. Because, you know, those holiday items all have a memory attached to them somehow. So I've been holding on to things that are cracked that need to be thrown away just because there's a memory attached. Like this tub that we made Christmas cookies in. Throw it away, Dee Dee. It's cracked. Here is what I ended up with. I've got an entire box that I've decluttered and a couple items that I just threw away. So all of these items here, including this serving tray, they are gonna be donated. These will go to the basement. If you've been here with me before when I decluttered down there, I've kind of got my trays or glassware down there. So I'm keeping these two, taking them downstairs, putting this in the Valentine's box. And the rest of this, like this is Christmas, 4th of July, fall, pitchers and large plastic storage containers, glass canisters or storage containers, and then some serving trays. And I don't know why I'm keeping the popsicles, maybe because my grandson would like them one day, but I think I've got it narrowed down and I'm happy with what I did. I did have to go back in here and readjust the shelves and I gave you the courtesy of not filming that. I was like a stuck pig in here trying to get way back and move those pegs, but I had to kind of move everything down so that I could have room for the tall glass canister and the tall um, little plastic storage container here. So time to load it back up now. Next up, just a quick tidy up of this coat closet. Now, I don't think the top shelf's gonna take me but just a minute, but I do have quite a few things here on the floor that need some attention. And I must confess, at the beginning of this video, I thought most of this stuff belonged to my children, but as I'm looking now, I think some of these items are things that I need to get rid of myself. I know this closet looks full of coats and jackets, but actually I just did declutter our coats and jackets. What you're seeing are hoodies. My husband, he's a fan of the hoodie and he keeps all of them in this closet. Every day we do this love for life. 
You got a smile that makes the sun rise. You make it shine. But I can see that you don't realize. And that's what made me fall in love. I'm just going to bring everything to the garage and make two piles, one pile of donations so I can load it in my car and another pile of everything that my children are picking up. Well, there you have it. There's no denying it. Most of the stuff indeed was mine, but I'm pretty pleased that was a pretty good haul for one cabinet and one small little closet. I'm just gonna use a few Clorox wipes and give this closet floor and baseboards a quick wipe down, and then I'm off to the last project. Next, I want to try a little idea here in my pantry to make it just a little bit more efficient and get a few things off the floor. Now, this idea didn't come from me. Actually, this idea came from a viewer who just recently watched my pantry makeover video. Now, this video I released right around New Year's Eve or New Year's Day, and she just got around to seeing it and she had noticed that I had a little bit of dead space in my pantry. And I said, yes, I do. And she said, what about putting some hanging baskets and to give yourself a little bit more shelf area? And I said, what a wonderful idea. I actually have a set of those that I'd picked up from Walmart and I had had them in a closet. And so I'm gonna give those a try today. I'm just gonna slide them right up underneath here. And hopefully I can get some of these baggies or paper plates, things that I have stored on the floor. Now, I might try to invest in getting some bigger ones, but for right now, I had these and I'm gonna give them a try. So thank you, Maria, let's see how they work.
Well, tidy uppers, that's it for today. Thank you for joining me. The problem areas have been taken care of. The only sad thing is I have more problem areas, but we'll address those another day. I appreciate you joining me today and supporting my channel. I'm sorry it's a little bit loud as I try to bid you farewell because the wind on this beautiful spring weather day is blowing. You can probably see the awning blowing in the background and hear the wind chimes wailing. So I'll just leave it here, bid you adieu, and until I see you next week, you know what to do. Stay tidy.